All right, let's look at some more advanced alcohols here that might be a little bit harder to name. Um, here we have cyclic alcohol again, and it looks like it's a five-membered ring, so that's a cyclopentanol. And uh, this particular molecule has a couple of methyl groups out here. And let's go ahead and number the ring. So it looks like these methyl groups are at carbon-3, and the alcohol is at carbon-1. So the name of this would be 3,3-dimethyl. cyclopentanol. A couple things to note here. Um, we have two methyl groups at carbon-3, so we need two numbers. And we use the prefix di for two methyls. And we don't have a number for one because uh, we just have one functional group here, an hydroxyl group. And that, by definition, again, is located at carbon-1. Okay, so the name here is 3,3-dimethyl cyclopentanol. Don't forget the cyclo prefix to indicate a ring in your molecule. Uh, here again, we have a hydroxyl group here. You want to look at the longest chain in the molecule that contains the hydroxyl group. And let's go ahead and number from lowest to highest. Here we would number from left to right to position the alcohol at the lower numbering. And we've got a methyl group at carbon-2. So the name of this would be 2-methyl two 2-butanol. Two now when you have an acyclic or just a branched or straight chain alkane, um, you need to have a number that designates where that hydroxyl group is connected to. So the full name here is 2-methyl two 2-butanol. Two Now here you might be tempted just to think, well, the longest chain is running across right here horizontally. But if you look carefully, you'll be able to see that the longest chain actually zigzags through the molecule here. And it contains six carbons. Let's go ahead and number those carbons. Again, placing the hydroxyl group at the lower possible numbering. And we have a methyl group attached to carbon four. So this is going to be 4-methyl, 2-hexanol. Okay, so all of these alcohols end with O-L, indicating that they're alcohols. Hexanol is 6 carbons. Here the longest chain is easy to recognize, but we have two alcohols. How do we name this? Something like this would be 1,3-propanediol. Again, these alcohols could be um, positioned at different carbons, carbon 1 and 2, for example. So we need two numbers for each of those alcohols. Here again, we have a cyclic five-membered ring, and we have two alcohols. So it's reasonable to think that this is a uh, cyclopentane diol. Um, here we have one hydroxyl group on a wedge and one on a dash, and that arrangement we call trans. So at the very beginning, we want to set this up with trans, and the alcohols are located at carbons 1 and 2. It's cyclic, so again, you want to use the uh, cyclo prefix for a ring. So we want to write cyclopentane. And then there are two hydroxyl groups here, so this earns the diol at the end. Okay, here's another relatively simple one. Locate the longest chain. And again, we want to number it so that the alcohol is at a lower numbering. Uh, we've got a methyl group at carbon-2. So the name of this molecule is going to be 2-methyl. 1-butanol. So those are some examples of naming various alcohols.